Hey gang, slightly longer one. Uh, we're looking at archaeological spirit tokens. There are 12 cards that create them. Um, and apart from one, which I'll show you shortly, none of them just put one into play. It's all a bit of a workaround, which is why you never see stacks of the things. Um, so Bell Borker uh, shows us the way. There it is. So archaeological spirit um, uh, is a token with Defender, but it also does some stuff. And we need to see that the stuff happens so spirit summoning is probably the easiest way to get a spirit token it's just a spell that puts one into play so we've got one charged up and we'll drop that into play um, so that we can see the token but we need bell borker um, because it's going to help us with um, one of the effects to get the um, spirit token to do its thing so there we go there's our spirit token so we need to get back round to our turn and we can have a look at it. Uh, yeah, the effects to get them into play, they're all things, you know, that involve moving stuff out of graveyards and shuffling stuff around. And it's all a bit, it's all a bit messy and complicated and very suboptimal. So you can, you know, if you've never faced a stack of archaeological spirit tokens, that's why. Who could be bothered making one? Well, me, as it happens, to show you what they do and what they look like. But there we go. Um, so back round to our turn, let's get some stuff out of our hand and make a bit of space and let's have a look at the token. There it is. Archaeological spirit. It's rare. It has defender. It's three, two. So it's had a buff and it's been given haste here. It's red and white and has the creature type spirit. And when a creature leaves your graveyard, this creature gets plus one, plus one. This effect can trigger up to a one times per turn. So that's the bit we need to make happen, and Bell Bork is going to help us with that. The artwork is by Dave Raposa, um, has about 70 cards to his credit. Not many have made it into Magic Puzzle Quest, but you probably know Jace Mirror Mage, which is a vanguard. Uh, right, we need to get a creature to leave our graveyard. So I'm going to play Bell Borker uh, there, and the third paragraph of Bell Borker says at the beginning of your turn uh, it, um, this <laughs> when it attacks um, sorry at the beginning of turn Bell Borker is going to um, ask us to choose a card and pick it out of our graveyard that was uh, that was Kellen doing that bit which isn't what we were looking for so let's get around to the beginning of our turn and here we go so we're going to move a card from our graveyard and you should see our spirit token very briefly you'll notice it gets plus one plus one so we'll pick the golden wish um yeah we'll pick the golden wish because that's the best card there um one of the best cards in standard right now actually not that this is a standard game but you know it is and we'll see it gets I've slowed this right down. There we go, plus one, plus one, because a spirit came and reinforced it almost immediately. There we go. So, archaeological spirit does what it says, and that's what it looks like. <laughs>